and now reiterate today that in the face of undisputed evidence or credible information on corruption, I will not hesitate to take decisive action. Accordingly, I now direct in furtherance of the principles enshrined in Article 10 of the Constitution on transparency and accountability and based on new information provided by investigative agencies and partner nations that the procuring agencies within the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum immediately cancel the ongoing procurement process for the JKIA expansion public-private partnership transaction. Let me, let me repeat this for clarity. I have said that provided, yeah, because of the information that has been provided to us by partner nations, an agent I have directed agencies within the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum to immediately cancel the ongoing procurement process for JKI expansion public-private partnership transaction as well as the recently concluded Ketrago transmission in public <laughs> immediately commence the process of onboarding alternative partners because these are important projects. <laughs> Honorable members, the work of taking our nation forward is our collective responsibility as citizens. For this reason, we value the contribution of all, whether they come in the form of support or encouragement suggestion or proposal, criticism or protest, I believe that the most powerful component of leadership is listening and learning. Therefore, I engage with you and listen to all citizens, their elected leaders, public officers, administrators, teachers, and other professionals, learners and the youth, farmers, fisher folk, pastoralists, traders, craftsmen, artisans, nurses, doctors, community health promoters, and workers across all types of sectors in every sector. I listen too to religious leaders, the civil society, industrialists, entrepreneurs, and professionals. Their contributions and everyone else's have my full attention and commitment to respond through positive, affirmative action that takes the national transformation endeavor forward. I commit to continue listening and acting, to engage, debate, deliberate with you, and to take your, your input into consideration in serving our nation. By design, the bottom-up economic transformation agenda is defined by its capacity to elicit feedback in the course of implementation and incorporate the same in making improvements and further progress. With every input from stakeholders, our ability to drive progress increases. By listening to you and to every Kenyan, I am able to serve this nation better. As we take part in this necessary discourse, I want to make one thing very clear. I am fully invested in the success of the strategies, policies, programs, and projects under our plan. For this reason, I am committed to do all it takes and work with every willing Kenyan until we succeed, because failure is not an option. Given the challenges our nation has faced, 
it has become clear, honorable members, that overcoming these obstacles requires 